So the adjustable driver for Mizuno is typically fit into the better players ultra low spin category. Traditionally, it's been one that's really easy to get those spin rates sub 2000. You know, if you're a player who battles one, a ball getting up too much or, you know, a little bit of a negative angle of attack, the G driver has been the place to go. With that being said, there's always been some sacrifices with that. To get the spin rate low, the forgiveness, the MOI has always been on the lower side. So it's not the most stable driver. So because of those things, it's actually always tended to land towards the better player, the lower handicap player. With the ST200G, we made some really good steps in terms of adding a little bit more stability to it. When you looked at the G drivers, the adjustable drivers prior to that, the MOI was very low. So they were low spin, which was great, but there was that sacrifice you had to give. With the ST200G, we were able to extend the tracks, make them even further out towards the toe and heel, make them go further from front to back. And that front to back dimension is a very important one in terms of stability. So they gave you the ability to get more consistency out of it, but also the ability to have a, a wide range of manipulation in terms of ball flight. So the ability to put a lot of weight out on the toe or a lot of weight out on the heel. However, it still wasn't quite enough when you're talking stability. That's where the new STG driver really stands out. If you looked at the previous generation, it was two long tracks on the toe and the heel. Now there's actually a third track that's directly behind the center of the impact. When you're designing a driver, the ultimate place to put weight for stability is as far away from the face as possible. The face is the heaviest part of a driver, so the more mass you can put behind it, it makes it even more stable. So with the new STG, there's the two tracks on the toe and heel to give the ability for the left-right bias, but the ability to put these weights back here is something that really is missing in a lot of the drivers that are adjustable in the market. So previously, the G driver, the adjustable driver, has been one that has paired up the ability to manipulate a shot in the left-right direction with ultra-low spin. That's tricky because a lot of people who need that shot correction don't need that ultra-low spin. So now what the new G driver gives you the ability to do is you can have that, that correction, but at the same time, you can manipulate the spin as well and actually bring it up and add more stability. And that's what that third track gives you the ability to do, is to be able to manipulate in the left-right direction, but also keep some stability. What's great about this is the independence you have between the spin rate and the direction. So now you have three different neutrals in terms of where you can put these, but also the ability to dial in a spin rate and not have it affect the left to right bias. So you can do that by using the different neutrals, or you can dial in a left to right direction and manipulate a spin rate from there. So the independence is something that's very unique about this STG. An interesting thing is that some players want a ball flight, but they want it there from a different look at address. What I mean is there are some players who can't stand if the face looks a little bit shut. And there are other players who want that confidence of knowing that the ball is going to turn over a little bit from a slightly more shut face. What's great about this is it gives you the ability to dial in the look at address and also the performance from the sole side. So if you're somebody who wants to see that ball take off low, you have two options to get there. You could either de-loft it, but by de-lofting it, you're gonna open the face, or you could keep the face angle where it is and actually change that ball flight with the weights themselves. So it gives you a lot of different avenues to get to a desired result.